So, uh, first we need to understand the definition of bullying. Unfortunately, there is a lot of misconception as to what bullying actually is. So, in this slide, I will discuss the definition. So, bullying is basically three things. It is unwanted, aggressive behavior that includes three things. Meaning, if any one of these three things is missing, it is not considered bullying according to majority of researchers on the topic. And what are these three things? Number one, hostile intent and not accident. Meaning, the bully, it, meaning that it was not a miscommunication. It's not someone who's joking around. It is actually someone who wants to physically, emotionally, or psychologically harm someone else. So there's hostile intent. They want to cause pain and suffering to the victim. So that's the first intention. Um, the second thing is imbalance of power. What that means is that bully has some sort of power or advantage over the victim. Uh, now, I have some examples listed here. Uh, for example, the bully could be physically stronger than the victim. Uh, the bully could have some access to embarrassing private information. So he or she may be uh, threatening the victim that if you don't do such and such, I will you know, expose such and such things about your life to the public or share it with the public, so and so forth. Or it could also be popularity. Popularity is a form of power. Uh, the bully has a lot of social support, a lot of friends who back him or her up. So, there, there's, so there's some sort of imbalance of power between the bully and the victim. Uh, the last condition is that repetition, meaning it happens again and again and again. It could be weekly, it could be daily, it could be monthly, but whatever the case. But the point is that it happens again and again and again. Now, I should point out that there is some debate over this definition. Not everyone agrees on it. So there is a minority of researchers who say, no, actually, it doesn't have to be hostile intent. It doesn't have to be imbalance of power. It could have, they, could both, they could both have equal power. Um, and it doesn't have to re be repetitive. It could be only once. But uh, we're going to go by the definition that is generally agreed upon by the majority of researchers, which is the one listed right before you.